Hi you guys, welcome to my video today. Thanks for joining me. If you're new to my channel, my name's Molly. I do weekly meal prepping for breakfast and for lunch. So this is gonna be my breakfast meal prep for the week. Um, all my recipes are super easy, so I hope that they give you some motivation to meal prep so that you can stay nice and organized for the week, nice and healthy. Um, so I love meal prepping so that I don't have to worry about what I'm gonna have for breakfast and lunch each day. And I also love meal prepping because I can get all my ingredients out, make my meals, and then throughout the week, I don't have to mess up the kitchen and cook a bunch of food. I can just pull out my container of what I've made for that week and breakfast or lunch is ready to go. So uh, that's just a couple ways, a couple reasons why I like meal prepping. Also, it's a really great way to save money if you're trying to save money. Uh, nowadays with everybody, everything uh, just going up in costs, uh, meal prepping is a really great way to um, plan out what you're having for the week and cut back on food costs. So I'm gonna make this week for breakfast some chia seed pudding, which I absolutely love. Um, all my recipes are really healthy if you've been around my channel um, for a while. So I love chia seeds. I have this big bag. They are um, high in fiber and so filling and they're very low in carbs as well. Four grams of protein, 10 grams of fiber per two tablespoons. So it's really great. Um, like I said, so filling. Um, so I'm gonna make this chia seed pudding and I'm going to add in this PB Fit powdered peanut butter. Uh, this is really great for smoothies um, and it's really great in chia seed pudding. So that's gonna be in there. I add a little bit of sugar-free syrup and then I have my almond milk and I like to add some fruit as well to my chia seed pudding. So I have some uh, chopped up strawberries that I had and I will get all of this going for the week so that my breakfast is ready. Um, if you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button so that you uh, don't miss any of my new breakfast and lunch meal prep ideas. Uh, lots of them coming out and like I said, I hope it gives you some motivation to do a little meal prepping. So I'm gonna get um, the chia seed pudding ready to go for the week. So I have my mason jars. I love uh, mason jars. This is a smaller version, um, but I use mason jars for chia seed pudding, overnight oats for my kids, um, and then I love my larger mason jars that I do my jar salads in. Um, if you've been around my channel, you know how much I love my jarred salads and they are so good. So check those out if you've missed any of them. So I'm gonna get the chia seed pudding ready to go for the week. I have my chia seeds, I have almond milk, my PB Fit, and I have my mason jars. These small ones are perfect for chia seed pudding, perfect for overnight oats. I love to do my omelets um, in them. If you see my other videos that I do my pre-made omelets and mason jars, these jars are wonderful. I will link them in the description like I do with all of my items that I use, get mostly everything on Amazon. So I will link these in the description and I have about a cup of almond milk in each one. And I am going to use my chia seeds. I get a huge bag at Walmart and they last a really long time. And I'm gonna use three tablespoons this week for each jar. It kind of depends on how thick you want your chia seed pudding to end up. And I'm gonna use three this week and it really, the chia seeds expand in the refrigerator overnight. So kind of the longer you have them in there, the more they expand. They kind of jelly on the outside of the, each chia seed and they just get larger and they expand with the almond milk. They're really good, high in fiber, like I said earlier, and really delicious. So I'm gonna add in now a tablespoon of PB Fit. PB Fit is so healthy, it's really delicious, it's perfect for smoothies, really perfect for chia seed pudding, and it's really fun to use as well. So I'm going to put a tablespoon in each of those, and it's gonna make this uh, chia seed pudding so good. I'm also gonna use about a tablespoon of sugar-free syrup into each jar, just gives it a little extra sweetness, and then I am going to add in um, after, actually, I'm going to shake these up first. I'm going to put the lids on each one. I'm gonna shake them and mix up all of the ingredients and um, get them all completely shaken. And then I'll add in my strawberries 
and the chia seeds will be ready to set overnight in the refrigerator. They are so good, ready to go for breakfast, really filling like I've said, and actually my whole family loves these. So I make them and sometimes I don't even get to eat all of these because everyone else is eating them instead. Anyhow, I am gonna add in my strawberries and then these will be ready to go. Like I said, they'll sit in the refrigerator overnight and the chia seeds will expand. They will get nice and soft and um, kind of like gelatin on the outside of each, each chia seed. And they're really good, really flavorful. All right, so my breakfast is ready to go for the week. Really easy, super healthy chia seed pudding with some peanut butter and strawberries. So good, so now this breakfast is ready to go. I'm gonna store these in the refrigerator uh, overnight and they're gonna expand the chia seeds and they're gonna be really good. And it's really great to just have something that I can grab out of the refrigerator in the morning and don't have to waste any time making any meals uh, for breakfast. We have pretty hectic mornings around here, so I love that I could just grab this out of the refrigerator and go. So I hope that you enjoyed this one. Uh, click subscribe if you're new to my channel so that you get all my meal prep ideas. Check the description box if you want the recipe for this. I'll put that in there. And thank you for stopping by. I hope that you have a great day and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.